Hey there guys, Cookie Monster here, and today we're going to be playing Besiege. Besiege is a sandbox game, so that's a building game, but they're also, of course, like most sandbox games now, such as Kerbal Space Program, that's an example that most people know about. There is sort of progress you want to make in the game. So in Kerbal Space Program, it's going to the moon, getting things in orbit, going to the other side of the planet. And in this, you're sort of conquering different zones. So that's just an intro if you're new to Besiege, anyone. But today we're gonna to be looking at the sandbox. At a vehicle I created after looking for an adaptive suspension vehicle. Basically, adaptive suspension vehicles have all, they, they um, have, we say this all four wheels are always on the ground right it's so the like we'll just 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 watch and <laughs> just literally just watch so this is the vehicle i've made it's called the spider and uh, as you can see when one wheel goes up instead of the other wheel hanging out the other side at the same level it sort of adapts to its terrain and all four wheels stay on the ground there we are. That is pretty much the most basic part of what we're going to do. And so I'm just going to, you know, I know people skip through the video. Just pretty much skip through the video. So I'm just going to drive it around here, show that it has some adaptive suspension technology. You know, make sure everyone sees the adaptive suspension when they skip through my video. No, but, um,. <clears throat> So adaptive suspension was actually achieved through the use of swivel joints, soft suspension. And soft suspension is very critical, and I'll explain as to why right now. Okay, so as I go up this hill with my one wheel that is crazy high, you're going to see it's compressing the suspension on the wheel that is higher up. And it has that exact on the opposite side of the vehicle, we're gonna see compression and the suspension again. If the suspension is too hard, it's not gonna be able to compress. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna basically mean that the wheel doesn't have as much movement and you won't be able to always have four wheels on the ground. So as we can see, these uh, springs actually, they don't do anything. They just sort of like oof, make it lower, right? Um, they really don't do anything. So you're gonna notice that once again, opposite side compression. And that is why you need soft suspension for this. And it's pretty much instant too, which is nice. Like look at this, instant, pretty much instant. It falls instantly. So these are here for another feature that made me call it the spider. So we're gonna drive, it's actually pretty slow right now. Just press O, that'll get me some more grip and that's what I like about O. Um, okay, so O gets more grip as I just mentioned. And now because we have more grip, more force, we can drive up walls and stuff like that. Now we can't actually drive up straight walls. Um, I've tried to do that can't drive up straight walls very easily. Now I'm just going to explain some basic parts of the vehicle with this so that you can see. These are basically shock absorbers for acceleration, deceleration, braking, etc. so that the vehicle doesn't flip. These once again they increase force, wheels, you know everything basic. These don't need to be here. Swivel joints, the two swivel joints are connected by an axle at the bottom attached to the suspension and this allows us to sort of move without the wheels just sort of just collapsing and flying out the sides of the vehicles. And let me show you that right now, actually. So if I put it down like this, try to go, I turn and the wheels just collapse everywhere. And that's why we have these axles attached. Okay, that's good, that's working. Yesterday I was trying to build stuff and I couldn't actually move it and hold it at the same time. We get there. Okay, good. So, 
as I said, you can't actually drive up straight walls with this. Here's like an example of a straight wall. Um, it's very difficult, which we'll is put it there. Because it wants to tip over, even if I activate O, which is the fans. See, it sort of wants to tip over, and that's why I had to give it so much gas. Um, I mean, I had to throttle up so hard, right? The one I want to get up, there's another hill. Let's see if we can go find it. Um, well, yeah, let's just drive quickly to that hill. So we're here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall. It's right over here. You see that hill right there? Um, let's get a better view. Yeah, that little wall there. I want to get up that wall. And that's basically my goal. So I, my challenge to you guys would be try to get up that wall. I can get up the small walls because I did edit it into this and then I shoved all the stuff on tops. On top. Um, yeah, so I shoved more fans on top and got rid of that. And these fans. And that was able to get me over, and I used pistons here to get me over the hill. on Over these walls over here. But I want to get over the bigger wall sort of in in um well, can i even okay yeah nice okay i can do that this is the wall i want to get over right there that is the wall i want to drive over so you can actually download this in the description of the video i don't currently i don't know how to put it up on steam workshop but i'll try to figure that out and I should have two links there, Google Drive and Steam Workshop. Where Steam Workshop is probably going to be the best bet because you need two different packs. You're going to need the aluminum texture pack. And please stop pushing me around, camera. And you're going to need the regalia skin. So the aluminum texture pack or skin pack and the regalia skin pack. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you all enjoyed.